Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. And in this one, we're going to learn how to import text. So say your boss gave you a Microsoft Word document and he wants you to include it into your Illustrator file. And you're thinking to yourself, ah, oh, crap, I'm going to have to type this in all into the thing by hand. Well, you actually don't have to do that. You can just import it and it's really easy. So the first thing you want to do is have a text file. If you have a, a text document, um, you can uh, import something from Notepad. It can be from uh, Microsoft Word. Um, so the format files that it takes are text, which is TXT, and that's plain text. Rich text format, which is RTF. And these are going to be the end things where it's going to say .txt or .rtf. You're going to get uh, Microsoft Word, which is a uh, doc, D-O-C, or D-O-C-X. Um, D-O-C-X is Microsoft Word 2007 and later on. So keep those in mind. So remember, it's um, a text, like something from Notepad, Microsoft Word from 2003 up, and rich text formats, which you can pretty much save anything into rich text format. All right, so let's open up Notepad, and we'll start writing something out, down. Writing down the work. And I'm just going to add a couple of different things within here. I'm going to add a tab right here and see what's going on. Or see, uh, show you what's going on with that. I'm just writing random things that are coming to my head. I don't know why some of this stuff is uh, coming to my head, so please don't judge me. Um, I've been wanting a PS4, so I'll put that in there, well, along with Final Fantasy 15. I don't know if everybody likes that game. It's not out yet, but... Alright, so there's some things, and I'm just going to hit Save As, and I'm going to save it in a folder that I know, and we'll just save this as New Boston Import Text, so I know what it is. And just save it, and I'm just going to X out of my notepad now. I'll delete all this stuff that I made. And we're going to go to File in Illustrator, and then we're going to go to Place. And I'm going to find what I just made. Um, see if I can find this. New Boston, there it is. Click on your text here. You want to make sure this says All Formats. That way, everything you'll you'll be able to see the text, and then click on place, and then we get these text import options. Now, this is going to be different um, for the different types of files that you import. So, if you imported a Microsoft Word one, then it's going to have different stuff than this. But they're not for the most part. You don't have to worry about um, what's going on here. If you know what extra carriage returns are then you'll know whether or not you need to check these off. But if you don't know it there, then you don't really need to know. So hit OK. And there we go. Now we've got all our text imported already. Easy as pie. Um, I wanted to show you that about a little, a little bit about carriage returns. You can find it on Wikipedia. And pretty much it's just a um, mechanism that brings the cursor back to the beginning of the text or something around there. It's used in programming in the C programming language and um, in the Unicode. So if you guys know what it is, then you, if you don't know what it is, you might want to check that out and give it a read. But it's really not that important. Only read it if you have like a lot of extra time or something like that. So let's go on and see what else we got. So it looks like that's all there really is to importing text. I don't see um, anything new in my notes or anything like that. So we're good to go. Um, you can see that the tabs have been added in. And um, if you had it checked, if you had just had three spaces, like if you press the space bar down three times, let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about. Extra spaces here says replace th three or more spaces with a tab so if you have you can update that but if you have a couple spaces it will uh change it into the amount of space uh, the tab button would put down instead 
So there you go. That's um, all for importing text, and it's fairly easy. And uh, use it when you need to, when you don't feel like writing down a ton of stuff that your boss makes it write down in Illustrator. So have a good one, everybody. Hope you learned something.